How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Toy Dueler here, and today I'm going to teach you how to Pokegen Pokemon in the 6th generation Pokemon games. So you're actually able to Pokegen Pokemon in Pokemon X, Y, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire now. All you're going to need to Pokegen is a Nintendo 3DS, not the new 3DS, but Nintendo 3DS or 3DS XL, running version 9.0 through 9.4. Then you're also going to need an SD card reader, you can get them pretty cheap, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. Once you have these two things, you're going to need to download something called code.zip, which I'm going to put in the description for you guys, so you're easily going to be able to find it, and one more thing called PK Hex, which is basically the Pokegen for Generation 6 Pokemon games. I'm also going to put that in the description so you guys can easily get it. Now, go to your downloads once it's all done. My internet's kind of slow, so I'm just waiting for that to finish downloading. And you're going to want to extract the files. So that's the code. We're going to use that a little later. And here's the Pokegen. So let's open this up and create our Pokemon. Starting it up, and here it is. So this might look a little confusing to you if you don't know what you're doing, but it's actually really simple to use. So. For example, I'm going to Pokegen a Mew. You can't get Mew in any of the Generation 6 games, so I thought it would be really nice to make a Mew with this method. I'm going to make it look exactly like the Haley's Mew that was given away in Pokemon Ranch, so it's going to be able to be used online and traded and everything. So let's get started. Species Mew, okay. And let's change that to an English Mew. Met in an American game, and met in the country, United... I can't type today. United States. There we go. Alright, I'm going to give it max friendship, 255. Make it at level 100. And let's see, did I miss anything? I'll give it an item. Let's give it leftovers. And I'm going to make it uh, timid nature. And I might as well just give it poker us. Okay, so I think that's it for everything on page 1 right now. Origin game, that will be diamond since you can only get this back in diamond and pearl. It's going to be met at Pokey Transfer. The ball is going to be a Cherish Ball. And met level, I'll make it level 102. I'll make it so it was transferred at level 100. I'll make it the day that it was met today. Fateful Encounter, because it was a Fateful Encounter. And for stats, let's give it 31 IVs and everything. Make it a Flawless Mew. 31, 31, 31. And I'll give it max EVs in Speed and Special Attack. And I'll just put 6 EVs in Special Defense. And that's it for here. I don't need to do anything else. Unless I want to do contest stats. But I don't really care about those. For moves, I'll just give it some random moves. Transform. Uh, metronome. Uh, ice Beam. And let's give it Fire Blast. Now, Relearn moves. That's for Egg moves, basically. If you want to... If you want to give your Pokemon four moves and then have it so it can relearn like an egg move or something, then you'd put in relearn moves. But this thing can't get any egg moves, so I'm not going to bother with that. But it's pretty nice to have that. Now the original trainer, I got to make this Haley. And the OT and the ID, the ID will be 0, 1000. Okay. We don't need to change the SID. And I'm just going to mark all these here because I like to use these little symbols to identify how many IVs the Pokemon has. Now we're going to go back to page 1 and press reroll here so it changes the PID. It just makes it more legit. And I'm going to save it. Oh, I forgot to insert my SD card. Silly me. Okay, so I'm going to insert my SD card into the SD card reader. And let's do that real quick. Alright, so now I get a little pop-up, auto-play here, let's open the folder to view the files, and yeah, that's my SD card. So we're not going to touch any of this stuff, we don't need to do anything with that. So I'm going to go and try to save it again. Let's locate my SD card, and I will save it as Pokemon.ekx. Let's change that to an EKX file. And it saved it as an EK6, I'm not sure why, but... Let me just remove that extension, make sure it's an EKX, otherwise it won't work. Okay, now it's an EKX file. So now I'm going to go back to my downloads, and remember that code we extracted earlier? Now we drag and drop that onto the SD card. So now we basically have everything that we need on the SD card. 
we had the Pokemon file and the code. So now I'm going to take out my SD card out of the SD card reader and put it back into my 3DS. Let me get my 3DS over here. Let me open up my thing so you guys can see it. There's my Omega Ruby version. So let's put the SD card back into the SD card slot in the DS. And here we see PokeBank and everything pop back up. So we're all good. Now we open up our Pokemon game. So for me, it's going to be Pokemon Omega Ruby. But remember, you could do this in any sixth generation Pokemon game. And now that you're in your Pokemon game, what you need to do is go to your PC box and make sure the box one slot one slot is empty. So I already had that empty. So just make sure it's empty, otherwise this won't work. Now leave your box, but don't close your game. Now what you're gonna wanna do is press the home button on your DS, and now you're gonna go to internet browser. All right, so let's just wait for that to load up. Now press URL. And you're going to want to go to the website LoadCode, L-O-A-D-C-O-D-E, dot Project Pokemon. Dot org. Now press confirm. And that will bring you to the website, but it will crash the internet browser. What this is basically doing is reading the information that we put on the SD card and applying it to your Pokemon game. So this is completely normal, it's going to say fail to load part of the page, and then your DS internet browser is going to crash. So there it says an error has occurred, that's all normal, don't worry. And now go back to your Pokemon game, check the PC box, and you will see... The Pokemon you have generated. So here's my Mew. Level 100, like I said, with the four moves I wanted, Pokerus. The EVs, IVs look correct, and yeah, everything looks good. Alright, so now that we have our Mew, let's go check and see and make sure that it can be used in online battles and trades and everything. So the quickest way to do that is just by going on a battle spot and finding a random person to battle. So let's do that. Battle spot, random matchup, free battle. And by the way, once you're done Pokegenning your Pokemon, you can delete all the files that we added to your SD card off. You don't need to keep them there once you're done with them. Okay, so we found an opponent, and let's just battle him. Alright, so I'm going to choose my Mew and two random Pokemon. The Pokemon don't matter because I'm just testing out my Mew, making sure it's legit and works in battles. And I'm going to give myself a quick disclaimer here. I'm not responsible for any damage done to your game by using this Pokegen method. But as long as you follow the video, you should be fine. Nothing should happen. Okay, so this person finally chose their Pokemon. It took them a while. But anyway, we're in a battle and it looks fine. Obviously, since we were able to get into the battle, they detected nothing wrong with the Mew. So it comes up as a legit Pokemon. Alright, and that's how you Pokegen Pokemon in the 6th generation Pokemon games. If this video helped you, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome Pokemon videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye bye